Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to put your own music onto record discs here inside of Minecraft Bedrock. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and share and subscribe as well. And let's go ahead and get to this. Here we are back at the desktop, and the first thing you need to do is to make a folder to put your new resource pack into. I just made a folder here called New Music Records. You can put it anywhere you want to on your computer, doesn't matter. Just make a new folder. Now we'll be getting to this in just a little bit. This is my own version of the packed icon file. We'll cover that in just a moment. Now we need to have that vanilla resource pack and you can find that over here. It's at minecraft.net. So I'll put this link in the description so you can find that easily enough. Scroll down and just a little ways down here you can download that vanilla resource pack. It's right there. It's real small, kind of hidden in this little paragraph. You want that right there. So click on that. This will open it up as a download and make sure you download into your new folder. Let's go ahead and do that. There we are. There's my folder. Choose save. There's the zip file. Okay, I can now hide this. Now you can use anything you want to to open up this zip. It doesn't matter what you use. It's just a standard zip file. So I'm just going to right click on this one. I'll be using 7-zip for everything in this discussion. I happen to like how this runs. Again, use anything you want for opening it up. 7-zip though is going to help you for recompiling this into your resource pack. So I'm just going to do an extract. I'll extract to the same name right there. That will give us a folder with that same name. And it goes pretty fast as you can see. And there it is. There's the unzipped vanilla resource pack. Let's go ahead and go inside of this. Now I need to get rid of a lot of stuff in here. But a few things you need to keep. You need to keep sounds.json. There's that pack underscore icon PNG. We'll take a look at that in just a bit. You need that manifest.json. This you don't need. I'll delete that. You don't need this one. I'll delete that. We need to keep the sounds folder, but everything else can go away. So let's just delete all that stuff. Hit the delete key and remove that. And then all this stuff in here, that can go away and leave just the sounds. Let's go into sounds. Now in here, all you need in this one, we don't have anything here for music. As you can see, all you need in here is just that sounds definitions right there. So everything else can go and I'll delete all that. We're now ready to set up for the music records. So we're inside of the sounds folder. You need a few new folders in here. Click on new folder. And this first one is called music. There we go. Let's open that one up. Make a new folder inside here. This one is called game. Make a new folder inside of here. New folder. And this one is records. And we'll open that one up. And this is where you place all of your new record files. So it sounds music game records. Okay, let's back up just a little bit in here. Let's look at this pack icon. Now, this is the standard image that shows up inside of the list of resource packs. It's just that dirt block. It's all that is. Now, you can leave this if you want. You can keep it if you want to, or you can make your own. I have my own right over here. It's just a 256 by 256 PNG file. That's all it is. I'm just going to rename this one, get rid of that mine on there. That's just my own notation. I'll get rid of that. There we go. So it's now the right name. I'm just going to take this and drag it over here and replace that existing file. And there we go. This is now my image in here for the pack icon. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do before we begin working on our sounds, let's just get this taken care of out of the way. Don't do anything with the sounds, JSON. Leave that alone. But we need to edit the manifest right here. Now, I have mine set up to open up inside a notepad. If you don't have that, right click and come down here to open with. Now, mine opens up in notepad. If you don't have notepad showing up here, just click on more apps right there and then scroll down the list until you find Notepad. I find that Notepad works just great for this. If you don't see Notepad in here, just look for another app here on PC and find that Notepad. And I'll choose OK. There we go. Right now, version format is 2. This is going to be correct because we just loaded this resource pack. The description, you can change the name in here. You don't have to, but you can change the name. I'll go ahead and just call this one Records. And this is going to be my Records Pack. There we go. And the description right down here, I'm just going to change this one to records as well. There we go. Okay. That's just the names that show up in the list inside of Minecraft. And there are two more things we need to change. That's these two things here, the UUID. There are two of them. There's one up here and there's one down here. These have to be different and they have to be actual UUID numbers. You can't make this thing up. You have to actually get this. And for this, I have another website. Let me bring that up. Here we go. It's uuidgenerator.net and again I'll put this link in the description so you can just click on that. Now you want the version 4 UUID right there. It should already be here. There's version 4. You can see it right there. Just double check that. If you don't see version 4, click on version 4. This should take you right to that same spot. As soon as you land on this page, the first thing you want to do is to refresh the page. Click on refresh 
and wait for the code to change. There we go, it just changed. Now click on copy, make sure it says copied, go back over to your manifest and then select the first one in here and then right click and paste. Now let's go back here to the same thing, click on refresh again, wait for the code to change, there it goes. Click on copy, back to our manifest file and then select our second one out and paste right there. And that's all set to go. Okay, file and save. This is a very important step. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. So make sure you do this. Okay, that's all taken care of. That's all done. This file is all done. I'll just make sure it's saved. There we go. And that's all set to go. Okay, now we can begin working on our actual sound files. Let's go back here to our locations, sounds, music, game, records, and we'll place those right inside this folder. I'll be doing this editing in a program called Audacity, and it's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Great program. It's all you need for working with sounds inside of Minecraft. We're now ready to edit our sound file. Now you can use any sound file you want, any record you want. I happen to have downloaded one from YouTube Music. It's just called Arkansas Traveler. Real easy to hear the difference on this thing. It really stands out. It's not Minecrafty at all. I've also found that using MP3 files seems to work best. Now the first thing you need to do is to make this into a mono file, not stereo. And the reason for that is when you put this into the jukebox in Minecraft and you walk away from it, if it's stereo, it's going to keep on playing full volume anywhere you are in the whole game. It doesn't matter how far away you go. If it's mono, it's going to fade out as you walk away from that jukebox. So it has to be in mono. Okay, we need to select our sound. That's just clicking over here someplace. The sound's now selected. Go up here to Tracks, and then come down to Mix, Stereo, down to Mono. It'll go ahead and do this. We should only see one track. There it is. It's now a mono file. That's our first step. Now we need to save this out export this out as a .ogg file, as an .og file. And this has to be exported to .og or saved to .og. You can't just change the name. This has to be done inside of a sound editing program. So for that, go up here to File, come down to Export, and I'll export as .og right there. Now here is where we're going to be saving it out to our new folder. Let me just go ahead and we'll find that folder I have mine right here. There's our new music records. There it is. There's the sounds, music, game, records right here. Choose Save. It's not going to save that one out. I'll just choose Save again. There we go. And it saves it out as that .ogg file format. And that's what you need for this to actually play inside of the game. Okay, we're done with the sound editing. It's, that's all there is to it. Not a whole lot. And here we go. Now the last thing we need to do is you need to name this to match the name of an existing record. I'll be using 13. That's one of the names of the songs. We have different records. There's 11, 13, Blocks, Cat, Chirp. I'll put a whole list of those also in the description so you can go ahead and see that whole list. But we'll just use 13, and I'll just rename this. Easy to do. 13, there you go. Should say 13.ogg, and that's now all set to go. It's all back up here to this location. So we have our sounds folder, we have our manifest, our new pack icon in here, and that sounds JSON. Select all this stuff. Now again, I'm doing this with 7-zip. I'm going to right click and then I'll come down here to 7-zip and add to archive. Now one of the reasons why I like this one is that I can go right to the zip, there's archive format. Now if you're using any other program, make sure that the archive format is set to zip. If it's anything else, it's not gonna work. Now here's a little trick you can do here inside of 7-zip where it says .zip up there where the name is. I'm going to change that one and just call it MC Pack. Let's also now change the name. I'm leaving that dot in there, change the name, I'll just call it new records. So new records.mc pack, but it's going to be a zip file. Choose OK. It now compiles that, and there it is. Okay, and that's all there is to it. That's all set to go. Now, make sure that Minecraft is not running before you do this next step. So all we need to do is just to double click on this file, and it's going to launch Minecraft and then install that new pack for us. Now, as soon as you see that launch at the top, watch that and make sure that it says that it has been installed, and we'll see that here in just a second. There we go. It says import started at the top up there. Wait for it to say that that has been done successfully. It should take just a moment. It goes pretty fast. There we go, successfully imported the records pack. All right, now, we need to tell Minecraft to use that pack, and there are two places you have to do that. First, go into settings right here, and then in settings, Scroll down to Global Resources, and you'll find it here under My Packs. Open that up, and you should see it. There it is. There's my top one right there. 
click on that click activate it should go away and then look up an active up here and you should now see it up here as your top pack okay that's fine let's now back out of here let that load that in as an active pack now click on play and you need to launch one of your worlds but before you do that we're going to edit this so I'll be using this one here coastal village that's what we're using click on this pencil over here on the right hand side this takes us into the settings for that one particular world I'll now scroll down and go into resource packs right here same thing into my packs let's open this up there it is records pack click on activate go up here to active double check make sure it's here and it is and we're all set let's go ahead now and back out let it save that and let's now play this world and check to make sure that that actually is playing that record for us okay there we are and I have that record right here it just says music disc but this is number 13 and has that kind of yellow and white label on it so I'll go over to the jukebox right there right click and take it back out there we go now one last thing to do in here and that's going to be that one right there just used notice it just says music disc I have two copies now there it is music disc music disc that's not too good we can fix that also right here with the anvil so just make an anvil or open up an anvil I'll right click on that open that up and I'm going to take that music disc right here it's number 13 you can see it right there I'll stick it in the first slot there it is go up here and let's put in a new name now it's called Arkansas Traveler there we go there's the new disc pull it down here and it's now been renamed Arkansas Traveler and that's how you can get names onto your discs real easy just go ahead and use that anvil to apply a name to it so it's easy then to see which record you're looking at now if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button make sure you click on share and subscribe as well and check out my channel for a bunch more minecraft stuff I do a whole bunch of videos on minecraft and quite a few of those on bedrock as well all right and i'll see you next time